Yo, what's up guys? KT Entertainment here, and I have a pretty interesting video. I have actually made Jack Marston's outfit and somewhat similar face on Red Dead Online. I figured I would share with you guys my creation I made and some other ones that I did with uh, inspiration of Jack Marston. So if you don't know, Jack Marston is from Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> Um, John Marston dies at the end of the first game. Oh my god! He becomes a Oh my god! And then you take over Jack Marston, which you don't really get to play them long because all you do is take your revenge and you kill uh, Agent Ross, I think. Yeah, while he's fishing, which is a good nod for when Agent Ross finds Jack Marston fishing with Arthur as a kid. So without um, all that out of the way, let me show you guys my wardrobe. I'm going to show you the... Let me actually go like that. As you can see here, his face is somewhat similar. It's not 100%, but if you look in the title, this is the exact same face that I used. It just, you know, Red Dead Online is pretty hard to make a face. I'm sure everyone knows this, that trying to make an even good or decent face takes so long to do, and it takes precision. Like, for instance, the side of his head and all that stuff. It's very hard. But what you want to do is have the uh, Cleland hat, of course, because Jack uses uh, John's hat. And the only way to get John Marston's hat is to um, get the Outlaw Season 2 pass. It's only 40 gold bars. I'm sure you can do some Bounty Hunter missions, rank that up. Or if you really want it that bad, you can, um, you can buy gold bars and get that back. But you really won't be wasting if you did buy it because you're gonna get that exact same amount of gold back and you'll be getting like over a thousand like over a thousand dollars in cash so I mean I don't want to be the guy that says it's worth paying but if you don't want to pay I would say just do bounty hunter missions but if you but if you're but if you think that if you're gonna pay for it and then lose that gold you're not you're gonna get all that gold back so technically you buying that gold is gonna let you get the pass complete the pass get the gold back and then you can spend your gold on something else that easy but um yeah that's the cleland hat and then we move on to uh bandanas you want the rex road bandana um i really don't know what to say about the rexford bandana i'm i'm, I'm thinking it is in the outlaw pass let me check Okay, it is in the Outlaw Pass. You can also get this bandana at rank 35 in the uh, Season 2 Outlaw Pass. To make this outfit, I do not think that you need to have had anything from Season 1's Pass. The, everything else you should be fine with, or you should need it through this pass. So yes, you're going to need the, the, the Rex Road bandana. It's the closest bandana to um, Jack Marston in the game presently. Let's move on from that. It will be coats. Um, by look, if you look at a, I'm going to flash a picture of what it looks like. This every man jacket is the closest thing to it. If you look at the buttons on the uh, left side of the jacket, it looks very similar to the one that Jack wears. Of course, it's probably not 100% the same jacket, but it's pretty darn close. Uh, no ponchos, no vest, shirts. This should be the easiest. It's an everyday shirt. Just get a white everyday shirt. That's all you need. Um, you don't really need suspenders, but I suspect I just put suspenders on just so it doesn't look too plain. Um, no gloves. Um, belts, no belts. Buckles, no buckles. He doesn't have a buckle. Uh, weapons equipment. Uh, I think from standard, I think you get the dead boot gun belt, or is it the um, the agency gun belt? Either way, you need to get the dead boot gun belt. It's the closest thing to it. Then with your offhand holster would be the gunslinger, which should be very easy to get. Um, bandoliers. You want the Coburn Bandolier. Um, I think it's $118 in the game, so you can either do that or you can spend about like 11 gold to get it. This one I got for like a special outfit, but this has nothing to do with it. I just wanted to show you guys that this bandana is pretty cool. Now, at first, when you get the bandana, it's going to be a little awkward because it's going to be on your right shoulder. But I found that if you press modify, you can go down the bandolier and you can change the size of it. So you want to make sure that it's on the right side and also have your boots over your pants. OK, 
Okay, moving on from that, we have the actual pants. We're going to be using Tide Pants. I don't know if you can still get these. Uh, the only reason why it's Tide Pants is because there was like a little tie around his uh, uh, his right leg. There was like a, like a little tie around it. It was like a knot or something. But no matter what kind of boots you wear, you have to be wearing stuff that are under your boots or under your pants in order for the, uh, the strings to come out. So there's, de there's no way of getting the strings out while wearing boots over your pants. So this is pretty much the closest you can get. Um, or if you really want to, I would say just get studded pants and go for black. Yeah, see, I, I would go for the padded saddle work pants or your studded pants and just get them in black. Because that would be your closest thing to these tied pants. In fact, I will show you what the strings that I'm talking about is on his knees you see those little strings if only you could have the boots under those strings it would have been perfect but when you put the boots over it it doesn't show up so that's why this is the closest you're gonna get all right um i don't know if i put chaps on no okay i didn't so no chaps boots the closest boots i found are the preacher's pride boots these are pretty good boots if you can get them i think it may be like a uh, maybe a bit of a hefty I, I no i think it was like 16 dollars or something um you'll have to like recheck those and check out because sometimes the prices change and then you want the girdened copper spurs these ones are also pretty easy to get a hold of they should be pretty cheap they should be cheap spurs so that one should be too hard to do and yeah that's about it for the outfit wise um in a minute i'm going to show you guys how i did the face of jack marston and I should just show you. I got some custom outfits for Jack. I got Jack armored, which looks pretty cool, actually. I got that double bandolier. If you guys want to try this out, you can look at it and figure out what I'm wearing. Or if you guys want to see me go over my outfits, I will do a review on these. Like, I got Jack from the cold, Jack armored. I got a Red Dead Online outfit where I mix some Arthur into it, some cold gear. Uh, my friend's outfit wear for, uh, he calls it Savagery. I got Slick, and then I got Jack Marston. So, yep, yeah, that's it for the outfit. And I will now show you the settings that I did to make my Jack Marston's face. All right, you guys, I'm here in the character creator so I can show you guys all of the settings that I put onto my Jack Marston. By the way, just in case someone does want to create their character and they can't figure it out, um... In order for me to get to here, you want to uh, press start, go to online, um, try to spawn into an elimination ma el elimination series uh, session, then back out of it, then open up your player uh, menu, and then go down to change appearance, and it should work, because I had to do that, and it started working, so just a heads up, if you want to create your character, go to elimination showdown series server get out of the server then you should be able to create your character because that's what I had to do so as you see here his name's J Jack Marston because that's his name now let me just zoom in here this is how I this is where I got my thumbnail picture so for heritage I chose 16 of 20 because uh, 16 is a pretty good face um, for um, using the character for the skin tone I have selected two of three the age I got 25 so that he had a little bit of like an aging effect and right now his hair does look different because I did put like hair pomade in so that's why it looks a little different um, body build I put it as athletic because it's it's just right in the middle eye color I got 13 out of 14 I think in the picture it's a little bit brighter so I might change it eventually but I don't have 10 gold bars I'm just in here so I can show you guys the settings but um, right now, I got 13 to 14. If you find better eyes, then um, I would say choose your own. I just chose brown because I figured if John had brown, Jack would have brown. So that's why I got brown. Okay, eyebrows are um, short. There's no custom settings for that yet. Uh, eyes and brows is custom. So there's your brow shape at the bottom. Your brow depth eye size eye socket leave that just leave it in the middle eye position there you go okay let's go to nose 
Here's the nose size, the nose shape, and the nose tip. So they're around the same area. Okay, mouth and lips. Mouth, there you go. Mouth position, upper lip shape, lower lip shape, lips depth. Okay, jaw and chin, jaw shape. Let me just move this to the side so you see what the jaw looks like. Jaw depth. Chin shape, chin depth. Let me just, uh, okay, ears. For the ears, I really didn't pay too much attention to it because he kind of has longer hair. I wouldn't really worry too much about the ears. If you really want that Jack Marston look, though. I would say look at a picture of his ears and then do it that way, but I really don't worry about the ears too much. Okay, cheeks. There's the cheek shape. Cheek depth. It's just right in the middle. Teeth, chompers, because, you know, Jack's got teeth. Here's hair. I have it as long right parted, but it is pomaded right now. For the hair color, it is 14 of 17. Facial hair is the goatee. I chose 6 of 17 because in the picture, his facial hair is a bit darker than his hair. So that's why that one is 6 of 17 and his hair color is 14 of 17. All right, now we're at lifestyle. Skin molting, I put minor and it's just a little bit showing because, you know, he's, he's got that little grain look from the first game. So... Uh, complexion exhausted I put strong for his eyes if you look at the picture he's got a bit of uh, exhaustion in his eyes uh, complexion I put toughened freckles I put cheeky just you know just to add a little extra to the face so it's not just so it's not just flat moles I put I put dotted just put it in the middle no blemishes uh, the cracked scar all the way and, you know, add just a little bit of tiredness. All right, that is about it. That is the settings that I used for my Jack Marston's face. So there you go. There you go. Now you have something to make for Jack Marston. If this video has helped you in any way, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And maybe I'll put some more stuff up. Um, yeah, I, this one's a pretty awkward video. I haven't made anything like this before about like showing the characters that I've made. This was actually like the reason why the character does kind of look actually really good is because it's actually a bit of a um, edit off of my original character. Um, I, I should have a picture of my original character. I think I had one where he got attacked by like wolves or something and he had like a gnarly scar. But um, that, with that face, I looked at it and I was like, it's a pretty good uh, like template face. So I used my old face and fixed upon it to uh, try to make it look more Jack Marston-like. But yeah, that is it. Um, thank you for watching the video. And with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys next time with maybe a new playthrough of a game. Maybe we'll do some Red Dead Online if you guys want. Um, we could do story mode games. We could play um, The Walking Dead. I got the new Definitive series, which is the new remaster with brand new graphics. We can try that out. Or we can play um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I also have Red Dead Redemption 1 if you guys want to see a playthrough of Red Dead 1. We could do that. So, alright, thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. The night.